Recently, a really cool mod has come out and I made a fool out of myself trying to review it. Let's make up for that today. Hey, uh, what's going on everybody? DJ Gohab here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very special overview of North Monty Company's Broit X20. This right here, I just flubbed it all up yesterday in our mod video. I had a mod conflict. I was unaware of this and it prevented me from doing exactly this right here. You guys saw it, it just wouldn't do this. But somehow today, I've got it all back. It is working on all the versions because it's the only mod I have installed. <laughs> so we're gonna take this, we're gonna do a new, brand new overview. We're gonna take a look at it. I'm gonna answer a few questions that you guys have had and we're gonna show you how it works. So. Let's check it out. So the Broid X20 comes with four pieces of equipment. If we go over to vehicles and miscellaneous, here you can see we have the X20 and we have the X20T. The only difference between these is this version can be configured with or without a drive. And this version right here is only tracks. Then if we go over to tools and we go into dollies, we have the dolly that has to be used to transport both. Now, there is a new extra piece of equipment needed to transport the tracked version. That is this right here, the X20T Dolly. Starting off with our vehicles, let's check out the X20 itself. This right here, as it sits, has no drive train. So you have to basically use the bucket to push yourself around. This was used way, way back when, um, back I think at the 1949, 1950s, somewhere around there. Um, this was actually a thing that was real. This is a real piece of equipment. Kind of neat. But if you don't want to do that, well, you can change over to a powered vehicle version. This way you could drive it around and do well, whatever you want. You're good to go there. You've also got versions without buckets on here too, if you wish to use those. We also have a beacon configuration and we have a big triangle configuration on the back. That bucket's gonna hold 1,000 liters. Just a heads up through there. Configurations over here, we only have two versions. We have a version with the bucket and a version without the bucket. Beacon configurations are the same. We do have an engine configuration here. You can either do a one mile per hour version or you can do a six mile per hour version and you can add that triangle in the back. Pretty cool there. So let's get this version. Let's get the X20T fast and let's just go with a standard, nothing else going on version of that. Okay, so we have two pieces of equipment, meaning we're gonna need two dollies. So we need two of these. We can change up our wheels on here. So we do have changing there. We're just gonna leave them the same for both of these. So let's go ahead and buy two of those. And then we've got our X20T dolly. This one has the same wheel configurations. However, that's it. It's kind of a weird looking piece of equipment, isn't it? It's really cool though. So let's go ahead and buy one of those because we don't need it or our wheel version. And we'll go over here, take a look. This is how you do it right here. This has a small hole in the bucket. Both of these have them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that small hole and we're gonna get it near this pin right here on the dollies. Nice and easy. And you just attach it and away you go. It's kind of genius how it's put together, really. And we need something to pull it with. It's not the lightest thing out there. Now, granted, yes, it's a wheeled track version, whatever, um, but it's a little bit heavy <laughs> to say the least. So the first one we're gonna do is the track version. So let's hook up, we're gonna pull forward, we're gonna jump in version with the tracks. Let's get our boom picked up and we're gonna come around here and we are going to basically back into this piece. So. Let's pull right up to it and then simply just back up. That's it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a little off center if you would like. Do the best you can, but uh, simply just back up to it, just like so. And you're gonna get the attachment point. So click, <laughs> and that's kinda it. That's all you gotta do. And now what we wanna do is bring our bucket down. So take your bucket. Get that kind of flattened out and then we'll lower it down just a little bit so that it's in a good range. Make it a little bit easier to pick this up. 
So all we have to do is back this up. That's the backwards driver and farm sim. And attach. That's it. That's all you got to do, man. One thing that you may want to do just as a heads up is to push up on this a little bit so that the wheels are doing good and you don't have the trailer dragging. If you're doing like that, you're going to have a bad time. So get that up in the air a little bit. And away we go. We've got the dolly hooked up on the front. Oh, let's probably turn that off. We got the dolly on the front. We have a dolly on the back. And we have a tracked vehicle that is being pulled from point A to point B quite quickly. Oh, boy. Ooh, yeah, don't have the F9 mod installed right now. So we should definitely be careful. And that's how it works. Otherwise, it is just a normal excavator. And when you're ready to detach, simply put this back in a normal kind of working position. We want to detach from there. We'll bring this up and detach from the back. Now, we're ready to just drive off of this thing and go get some work done. You don't even have to take it off there if you don't really want to. You can leave it on the dolly, although it's going to bounce around a bit. So just be, well, careful. The real fun is actually this one right here because there's no drive gear, meaning, well, you got to use the bucket <laughs> to pull yourself forward. So just like this, use it, pull yourself forward about as far as you can go, and then push it back out. Maybe not like that. Push yourself forward. Raise up. Push it out. Bring it back down. Pull yourself forward again. This is definitely one of the cooler vehicles. But it's weird because you can't steer. You can't do anything. So, like, I'm a little bit off center here. So, I'm going to have to do that. Push this back down <laughs> it's neat it's it's kind of neat i am a hundred percent down with this and then now we're close enough so let's get this all nice and organized here put that about there and then set the bucket just so just like that let's go and turn it off we're roughly on it but can easily attach there and then simply just like the previous version get those front wheels up and take off oh i started it <laughs> you can do that too definitely make sure you know what you're what you're connecting to and that's it pull away you are good to go now as always you don't really want to leave that going but you can uh, kind of get yourself into some crazy predicaments here depending on how you like to roll so just be careful make sure you're doing things the right way and you're not driving not like a dj don't drive like a dj it's bad for your health <laughs> and there you go guys that is it that is how the broit x20 or the tie orb uh works on console if you guys are on there I hope this helped you guys out in some way, shape, or form, and I definitely hope that this answered some questions that you guys had from the video that we did yesterday. I want to give a big shout out to one of the creators of this mod from North Mining Company, T-Bone. He reached out to me yesterday, kind of helped me figure out what to do, which mods maybe to turn off this or that, so that this would actually work for me. So I've turned off all of my mods, and it works just fine. So big shout out to T-Bone. Check him out Link in the description below. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this one. You did. Drop a like, get subscribed. If you're new, join the GoHam fam, notification bells, etc., etc. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later.